So it's your girl, A, and it's time for another video review for my first wigs, you guys. You know how I feel about them. They got like one of the bombest wigs next to this sister company. And this one right here is definitely my color, a true highlighted beauty, okay? So prior to this part right here, as you guys see me pulling out these clips, I did wash it. I did style it and I was hoping that these clips would hold the hair together. Unfortunately, I did keep these curls in for a couple of days prior to this video, you guys. But it was super easy to curl. You know, my first wigs has some really bomb wigs that will last you for a long time. So with further ado, I'm gonna show you guys how your wig comes while I remain taking the rest of this wig off the thing. Right, you guys so here's the fun part of adhering applying this wig so as normal when your wig does not fit properly and it overlaps your ears you can take your comb and part it directly above your ears like so make sure you have a nice clip to hold the hair out of the way and just get you a pair of scissors and cut that excess lace off and that is how much I have right there it's not gonna do anything harmful to your wig your wig is still gonna be intact but if you want your wig to lay as flat as possible, you're definitely going to have to customize it because this wig right here is a stock wig, meaning basically that, you know, one size fits all or maybe not all, but you know what I mean. So this lace is Swiss girl and cutting the lace on my first wigs units. Oh my God. I have to get so close up to the mirror at times. Like for real, I do. But, um, you know, that's not a bad thing. I'm definitely not complaining. So I did use the bed head and I just went ahead and sprayed it on top of the lace like normal. Normally what I would do is make a part throughout the whole front perimeter of my hairline and then hairspray. However, I'm just trying different methods. This one seems to work really well as well. But the only issue that I have with this particular method that I'm seeing here is when it comes time to cut that extra lace off, you know, that's dangling, it seems like you get jagged edges on the lace at the edge. You guys will see that um, once I cut it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and melt it a little bit more into my hairline because I did go ahead and already style this unit. Now, this is the reason why I have a mirror because this lace is so meltable, it's transparent. Sometimes I can't see it and my eyesight is not that great, girl. I know I should just put my glasses on, but you know, I'd be trying to be cute. 
Now, if you guys notice the jagged edges, because once I cut the lace, you know, those edges are still kind of like, you know, jagged, you know, not laying down. So I just try to kind of like pat it in with a little bit of hairspray on the tip of it, or I'll have to add more hairspray, but I'll definitely need to clean off that extra hairspray that's on my hairline from when I did spray it on. That's another thing that I'm really not a huge fan of when I do it in this particular method versus how I part it. I'll get extra hairspray on my skin. And so this is where I end up spraying more. So I don't know, either way, if they're both easy, I do notice that this one holds your wig down just as well. So it's basically up to you or how you wanna do it. And I know cutting sideburn hairs and a little bit of baby hairs, you're probably not gonna see them that well, especially the baby hairs on my forehead right there you're not gonna be able to really see them that well because the hair is almost matching my skin color. Now this stuff right here, let me pause for a second. Salon Selectors Freeze Control Leave-In Smoothing. I got this from the Dollar Tree, it's a great product. However, you're supposed to use it when the hair is wet and damp. That way it'll give it like a nice smooth finish. It has argan oil in it from Morocco. However, I used it while the hair was dry while I was flat ironing it. And the, the substance is like a conditioner type of substance. So I don't know why I continue to go on with the styling or with the massaging it in the wig unit because it gave it this very filmy like texture, which then I would have needed to rewash the wig. And I really didn't feel like rewashing it. So it's kind of dry because of that salon selectors frizz control. I did not read the directions. It does say you have to use this product when the hair is wet. So that's the reason why I ended up using the leave-in conditioner spray by my first wigs a few seconds ago. This stuff though does work, the leave-in hairspray, the leave-in, excuse me, conditioner spray by um, my first wigs. It works wonderful on the wig. However, with me putting this Salon Selectors Freeze con Frizz Control, leave-in smoothing argan oil, it kind of, it just made the hair give it like this very filmy substance, which made it seem like it was dry. And I really should have just went ahead and rewashed it, but I just really didn't want to rewash it because girl, I was like, you know, I was just almost finished. wig is very long for 20 inches you guys it's it disappears so much longer you know and that's the one thing that I do appreciate about my first wigs units you order 20 and that that, that bad boy looks like it's 22 the density is beautiful this hair color came out amazing okay I do like it and I, I'm gonna go ahead and touch up my hairline a bit right here because you know I did remove the makeup but it came out so nice, like the color, the highlights in it. I like this type of blonde because it's not just one set color. I do prefer a little bit of dark roots in my units. Not a lot, but a little bit. But for the most part, it came out gorgeous. Look at that hairline, girl. Like, look, melted. You can't even tell where that wig is glued down or hairsprayed down. Looking like it's growing out of my scalp, y'all. And just a little bit of a twist on the side because you can do so many things with the My First Wigs wig. So I will leave all of the information down below for you girls. Let me know what you think of this unit. I think she is so cute, cute. And on that note, you guys, of course, this is a happy dance because I'm satisfied. I just got to rewash the wig and get this stuff out of it. But hey, thank you, my first wigs. And thank you, everybody, for staying tuned. I love you all. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.